In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Epson Workforce Pro WF4820 printer using a Ethernet cable. So that will be a quick and fast way to use the printer for, for printing and scanning over the internet. And using the Ethernet cable will definitely make a big change in the speed of the printer. First step is to take the Ethernet cable. So you have to plug in the Ethernet cable one end at the back side of your router. So you will see this is the end one end of the Ethernet cable. So it goes to the yellow port on the back side. Now go to the back side of your printer. Just plug in the Ethernet cable in a socket that says LAN. So you have to plug it in here. Go to the display panel and you can click on this icon that is uh, Ethernet cable icon that is here. And you can see it says two options router and Wi Fi direct. So here we can see the router option is dark blue. In case your Ethernet cable is not working for some reason then you will see this becomes faded that means it is not connected if you plug it in it will become dark so your printer is available over the internet using the Ethernet cable so just wait to update it now we can close it let's check the print speed you can use a smartphone or you can use your laptop for example in the smartphone I can just go to the Epson smart panel app open this app agree with the terms and conditions if your smartphone is connected with your home Wi-Fi network it will display Epson Workforce 4820 series, just select it. Here we can see our printer, so it is installed. Now we can start using it. For example, I'm just going to do a quick scan. Select ADF tray and click on the scan icon scan is instantly transferred now if you want to use it with your laptop go to the laptop screen this is Windows 11 go to the settings click on the Bluetooth and devices select printers and scanners click on the add device instantly it will display Epson workforce 4800 series click on the add device and it is installed now in case it asks you to install the drivers then you have to go to the Epson website and you just download the drivers from there. Click on the home button again go to the Bluetooth and devices printers and scanners. Now we can see it has come down. Now you can click on it and it will display all the information then scanner settings. Now you can start using it for printing and scanning. For printing you can select any document or you can click on the print test page and it will start the printing. That's the way we can start using this printer with the Ethernet cable. Thanks for watching.